in start today's class hope your screen is visible and i am audible to you people and the last class we had discussed the reed miller code it was a little lengthy we took a little bit time extra after the class also so that uh, we could able to complete a uh, reed miller code and i want you people to uh, revise that so that you can understand completely so let us go to the last uh, part of this particular chapter so we are going to discuss uh, last bit of this chapter uh, product codes and interlude codes and uh, gole code you take it as a homework and uh, some information i have put in the my blog also uh, gole code we are not uh, going to discuss any encoding procedure or decoding procedure in the gole code just go through uh, information available in the blog and the internet let us come to the next uh, product codes a uh, single parity check codes have no error correcting capability error correcting can be achieved by combining two single check bits or check codes so this indirectly we have covered in the beginning of the class linear block code only but anyway uh, they have given a different name for this uh, product codes uh, without telling this name we have done the discussion in the beginning so hope uh, in general i am discussing now let uh, c1 and uh, c2 be the two codes and c1 say n1 and k1 and c2 is a n2 and k2 linear block codes so using these two i can construct uh, n1 n2 means n1 into n2 comma k1 into k2 linear code so just i want uh, you people to copy this uh, you may not understand but we'll take our numerical example so that you people will understand very easily so sometimes uh, check bits we have taken left side sometimes we may take a right side also uh, we are going to discuss what new nu numerical example now you just note down uh, one or two information from this when you take a numerical example it will be very clear and check bits you can take either left or right so let us take a one numerical example so that you can understand what is this sir uh, checks on rows and parity bits on columns and uh, parity bits on parity bits so it will be very clear when you take one numerical example and when we discuss so let us go to the simplest example now have this say 5 comma 4 means all of you know whenever i say 5 comma 4 all of you know uh, n equal to 5 and k equal to 4 now i want a one parity bit it should become what a row why is i am checking so here i want a one bit either zero or one particular bit so that it should become a even parity i want you people to write the one one bit for each row to become a even parity just complete it i will show you the answer you can compare nisarg has typed almost to 4 10101cs typed very good uh, very good i'm sure all of you me complete uh, within a few seconds because you have become expert in this next line let me show you the parity bits you can compare what you got and uh, 101010 i think nisarg what type is correct it matches with my writing and i'm sure others are also got the same answer priyanka also got same others can also write so this is about 5 comma 4 uh, n is 5 k is 4 and parity bits are only one thank you now let me go to the next i want a uh, column parity bits now write on the column parity bits how take this as a one column and this is 7 6 7 6 means how i'll get total 7 but uh, datas are 6 bits only one parity bit in the column okay write down first column zero or one second column third column fourth column then overall parity check bit either you take row wise or column wise you can take you write down the this you can take a row or a column it will remain answer same okay a 0100 everybody has typed uh, let me show my answer also the answer what i got is a 0100 but one with the has typed very good as you go for row or a column Uh, overall parity check will become now one see in this i want you people to count the total number of data or message bits data or message bits is nothing but these black uh, 
character what I have taken. It will become a 24. And this intentionally I have changed the color. Parity bits will become 11. Total will become 35. Actually, column wise I have taken 7, 6. Row wise I have taken 5, 4. So it will become now 35, 24. 35 is the total bits. 24 are the data bits. Hence, code word this 35, 24 you got from 5 cross 4, 5, 4, and 7, 6. So if you multiply 5 and 7, 4 and 6, you will get a 35, 24. Take a 1 minute and copy down this and try to understand. Hope all of you understood the uh, product codes. So actually, I have taken a 2, one is a 5, 4. And there is a 7, 6, it has become a 35, 24. So let me go to the next. Now, if a single bit error occurs, let us consider red color I have chosen intentionally. This was 0, but I made it as a 1. This way I already discussed once. 0 has become 1. At the receiver, you can observe a second column and the fourth row having an odd parity. Hence, error can be found. So this we have discussed in the beginning only uh, without mentioning a product code. Hope it is very easy for you to understand. Take another 30 seconds, copy down and try to understand. Video, you can go through the beginning video, linear block code, introduction video. There also we have discussed this and spent a little more time without mentioning a product code. In general we have taken like this only and we have discussed. Let us go to the last one. Interleaved codes. The concept is very simple. Say whatever the zeros and ones you want to transmit, simply write those in the left to right in a matrix form. And when you are sending, instead of sending left to row, send them from bot, uh, say top to bottom. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you are writing like this. But when you are sending, you are supposed to send 1, 5, 9, 13, 17. And uh, at the receiver, whenever you receive, instead of writing in the row wise, you write in the column wise. But when you are reading the data, you have to read row wise. This is a basic concept of uh, interleaving codes. Again, there are many techniques are there in the interleaving. But uh, that we will not discuss now. Only uh, this much is enough for you people. Copy down and one numerical example we will see. Then uh, we will try to conclude this particular chapter. Copy down this. I think uh, they are completing now. Three students are completed. Those are completed. Now let us go to the next. Very good. Everybody has completed. So this is a bits what I am send. I am supposed to send. I have written in the matrix form. Now what I have to send? Just type that in the chat box. At least uh, beginning five bits what you are going to send. You can type in the chat box. Okay. Very good. Uh, 1, 1, 0, double 1 will send, then uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 will send. So at the transmitter we will do like this, at the receiver we do uh, same again, write a column. Why we do this actually, uh, one important advantage is there. If there is a burst error, that will be become a distributed error because of this interleaving technique. Actually that will come in your convolutional coding, uh, that we may spend a little time to discuss on that. There is a lot of advantages are there, why we do so. Uh, basically, it converts uh, your uh, burst error into distributed or you can say random errors. That is the basic advantage of these interleaving. Many techniques are there. This is the one technique we have discussed now. So this completes your uh, interleaving codes and this particular chapter and this linear block code.